All right, hello again, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a table of contents and get a few more sections going, including front matter. So first, let's get another section going. So we're gonna we left off here with our Latin, which I will continue to leave there, and we're gonna start a new section. And my new section is going to be called Tobias's lifestyle. And I'm gonna build this, and I'm gonna say Tobias. Not though bias, Tobias, although he lives in a hole in the ground, he also likes to climb trees. All right, so if I build this, we're going to get our new section starting here after our introduction, and it's already labeled uh, two. And so this is good. LaTeX is taking care of this for us. We could also create subsections if we wish. So I'm going to create a subsection down here. Or maybe this will make it easier to see for you guys. All right, a subsection. And I'm going to call it uh, where Tobias gets food. And in this section, I will say usually groundhogs nibble on green greens found on the ground but not Tobias he is the exception to this rule all right so we have that if we build that we automatically get our subsection and the default numbering system is one two three whatever for the sections and then subsections have the next space uh, ne ne next digit over. You could also create a sub subsection if you wish. This goes on. And you can also there's all kinds of things you could do. So sub subsection. This is a sub subsection. And if we build that, you see that you could get a sub subsection if you wish. Now I mentioned that having this label here, uh, where we labeled the introduction, could come in handy later, and I'll demonstrate how this is useful. So in Tobias's lifestyle, I'll say uh, the introduction is found on page, page ref section intro. Yeah, and that's exactly how it reads. See, the introduction is found on page one, and this is page one. Now, you might not like that all of this is on page one. Maybe you want this section to be on its own page and you want the next section to start on its next page and these are things that you can change uh, what you can do here is just start a new page if we do that we have Tobias's lifestyle starting on the second page with all the subsections and whatever following it and the page numbers automatically update well now that we have all these pages I'm starting to lose track of what's going on here and I think it would be best to install a table of contents and the way we do that uh, is start here. This is after the title page. I want the table of contents to go right in here before the introduction. So the way we go about doing that is first I'm going to table of contents. That should build it, right? And it does. Here we go, contents, but it's empty. Why is it empty? Well, it's empty because we just built it and if we were to rebuild the file again, we populate the table of contents with, with what's actually here. So it may take two, it should take two passes for a table of contents, list of figures, which I'll get to later, list of tables, anything that references anything uh, requires a couple passes. So you, you gotta keep that in mind. Now I don't like that the introduction is on the same page as the contents. This is just not what I want. So. I'm going to uh, clear the rest of this page, which pushes the introduction down to here on page two. Well, this is another problem because we don't want, uh, and you see here introduction one, and the introduction actually starts on two. This is again because we just built it. So if we build it again, now introduction starts on two, and, it, and introduction is on two. Now. We have a page number here on our table of contents, and I don't want that. You usually don't have your con table of contents pages labeled, and so you got to get rid of that page number. 
And the way you could go about doing that is by changing the page style. So we're going to say this page style is going to be empty. And there we go. So it's empty now. No more page number down here on the contents page in introduction. But the introduction is still starting on page two. Even if I build it again, it's still starting on page two. And we, we, we don't want the contents page to be page one. So we're going to have to reset our page counter on the introduction page uh, back to one after doing this. So the way you do that is we're going to set counter, we're going to set our page counter, and we're going to set it to one. And this is after we've cleared the rest of this page. So there we go. Our introduction is now page one. If I build again. The table of contents points to the introduction being on page one. Excellent. So this is great and all, but what happens if we want some sort of front matter, something between the title page and the table of contents here? We could insert a section in here, right? So you, you would think this would work, right? So I'm just going to make some room here. So this is before the table of contents, but after the title page. Let's create a section and let's call it Excellent. I am well protected. Let's call this section summary. And this is the summary section. This video teaches you how to write a report in LaTeX. All right. If I build that, we have our summary on the same page as the table of contents, no page number. Well, that doesn't look so great. So what we could do here is we can clear the rest of the page. So we have title page, we have our section, we have our summary section here. We have it listed as page one. We have our table of contents and then we have our introduction labeled as page one. So we obviously have a problem here. We have two page ones and our table of contents says they're both on the same page and it doesn't recognize that this is some sort of front matter. So. I, and I also don't like the fact that summary here has a one in front of it. Uh, to clear that one, just put an asterisk after the section, and there you go. But consequently, by doing that, you remove summary from your table of contents, and it's still one. Now, we might have more sections here, more than just summary. You know, uh, if you're writing a big report, you might have like acknowledgments or a recommendations list of figures. If that goes before your table of contents, I'm unsure. Uh, but you you don't want this to be page one, and you do want it to be in the table of contents. So we're going to have to fix that. And the way we can do that is for like I do want this page numbered. I just don't want it number one. So we can change it from our number system here to a uh, different page style. So we could say a uh, different page numbering style. So we could say that we're going to change it to Roman. Uh, and let's put that before the section. So if I do that, there we go. So summary is on page I. Okay, cool. It doesn't show up still because we haven't told it to. And it shows up I here in our introduction. Well, we don't want that either. So what we can do there is we could go and set our page numbering to Arabic, which is our number system. And now our introduction is page one. Table of contents does not have a page number. Our summary is page I. Perfect. Almost. So what else we need is we need to get it showing up inside of our table of contents. And how do we go about doing that? Well, what we could do is immediately after the section heading, you know, let's just make some space here. So this is front matter stuff. Should probably get more comments going in. Uh, this is table of contents stuff. And then this is main body stuff. All right, so we got that going. Um, where was I? I want to add summary into our table of contents. So the way we can go about doing that is after our section summary, we can add contents line. So this is adding a line of contents to the table of contents. It is going to be a section and we want a number line. And 
and we want uh, this is if we want a number line rather and build once more and there we go so we have our summary inside of our contents so what we have now is we have a title page we have front matter and we, we can extend this if we wish so let's uh, create a so we've cleared that double page let's create a section we're gonna call it acknowledgements and uh, thanks to LaTeX creators and then clear double page and of course we want to add this to our table of contents so we're adding to our table of contents a section if we do that and we have our acknowledgement section on a separate page if we wanted it to like be like that it's page ii and on the second oh we don't want to call it summary what am i doing we want to call it acknowledgements and on our second pass we have our acknowledgements ii and our introduction still starts on page one so there you go that, that that's all there is to it uh, for creating front matter in front of your table of contents in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get a figure inserted into your report, as well as a table. So uh, likely you're going to want to import data. I, I might break it up into a couple videos because the data one could, uh, the table one could involve a little bit of time. But I'm going to show you how to get a figure inserted. I'm going to show you how to get lists and a list of figures inserted, as well as tables and a list of tables. So I hope uh, you see me then.